These polyominoes, let me refresh your memory. Polyominoes are these shapes which we can sort of form from combining different numbers of squares together. But that's important. We're all combining numbers of squares. You'll also notice, looking at the colors, right? You'll also notice that they're always connected along an edge, so the squares can't be collected on their, connected on their corners. They're always collected like side to side or on top of each other, right? We call these guys together polyominoes, just because poly for many, is just many different squares, right? Do you remember doing this task? We were looking at the mean, right? Now, I want us to um, think more carefully about these because there are different numbers of shapes here. So for example, you've got, um, there's a one square polyomino, two squares, three squares, four squares, and so on, right? So there's a particular kind I want to explore these today. It's my favorite one of the polyominoes. Um, you had a look at them before, I just didn't tell you what their name were. They're pentominoes, okay? So as you can see, pentominoes have not one, not two, not three, but four, not, there were five, five squares, right? Hence, pento, right? So this is a pentomino. Now we're going to do a couple of different things with pentominoes today. But first we have to start off by understanding what are the pentominoes. And I use that word very carefully. You've got to be careful with these shapes, right? Have a look at these two. They do look a little bit different, don't they? Right? I guess I would, if I were trying to picture this like a common object, I'd say this looks kind of like a tap with like a handle on the side. And this looks more like a, a duck. Okay, so they do look different. But I'm going to count these as the same pentomino. Can anyone tell me, in a show of hands, what would you do to this one to turn it into this one? Hader, I think I saw your hand up first. Rotate. We would rotate. Can someone give me a little more detail on what Hader suggested, Louise? Um, Very good. So if we spin this around, um, exactly 90 degrees anti-counterclockwise, you're going to get to this one. You happy with that? So if you're spinning it around, I count that as the same pentomino. Now it doesn't matter how many times you spin, you'll never get to this one. But there's something different you can do to transform this into that. Anyone want to suggest to me, Vishaka? What's the word we're looking for? Yep, very good. You can reflect or, or just flip it over. So I count if you rotate it or if you flip it over, it's, it's the same one. So I'm counting all of those, not as three different pentominoes, but as the same one, okay? But if you've got five squares, it's not that hard, is it, to picture there are other ways to combine five squares along their edges, not along their corners, to get a new shape. Are we so far so good? We understand what a pentomino is. Now you can see there are at least two different kinds of pentominoes. I'm not going to tell you how many different kinds there are. Your first of a few tasks today is to try and come up with a full list, um, a full set of you know, draw them out in your book first. You'll use this in a second to fully draw them once you're happy with them. How many pentominoes do you think exist that are actually different? I've given you a bit of a, um, a head start. I've started you off at two. Maybe call Mrs. Lees or I over if you think you have a complete list and we'll um, tell you if you're on the right track or if you need to continue working, all right? Give you five minutes to start, have a go. Um, at least for this first stage, um, I think we're going to crown a, a temporary winner, which is David. Well done, David. Uh, which is fine, which is fine, well done. The two of you, okay, I'll give that a joint, uh, a, win, a joint win. So these are the, how many, David? 12, these are the 12. Okay, you've got 12 as well. So a few people like getting to the same. Okay, levan has got 15. Good for Levan. <laughs> Levan's an overture. There's probably some duplicates in there, Levan. Now have a look, would you? If you're, um, if you're close, I'm just going to make a bet that if you're missing one or two, it's not guaranteed, but there's a very high chance the one or two you're missing are this one down here. Um, this is a really tricky one. I call this one the stairs. The stairs are really hard to get. Uh, but some people who are you know, very interesting lateral thinkers sometimes get the stairs first, but most people get it last. The other one that's a bit tricky is uh, this one at the top in the middle, this one here. Um, I call this one the giraffe because uh, like a... Like it's got a long neck. Do you see it? Can you see it? It's, you have to use your imagination a little bit, okay? The giraffe is also quite hard to spot, okay? Now, can I ask you all, um, don't worry, you'll get the chance to draw these again. I'm not taking them away. Just look up for a second. Raise your hand, please, if you got this one here, the second one there. Pretty much everyone should get that one, yeah? Okay, thank you, hands down. So I'm really interested. Look carefully with me. Um, this one here, I like to call it the speech bubble, okay? The speech bubble is quite easy to think of, right? Did you notice that the giraffe is just one square away?
from the speech bubble? What would you do to the speech bubble to turn it into the draft or vice versa? What would you do? Yeah, what do you um, see, Joe? Put the left, the left top square are up on the, on top of the right yep. top square. Yep. Perfect, yeah. The left top square goes on top of the right top square and then you get that exact shape. So it's only a single square away, but it was a lot harder for us to think of. And it's actually the same deal with this guy. What would you do to turn the speech bubble into the stairs? Where would you move? Here, and what do you see? Uh, I'll move the top left yep. onto the top right. Onto the top right? Oh, to the right. To the right, like over here? Yeah, so then you'd get the same stairs just kind of reflected over, yeah? Or if you like, you could move it down to the bottom here and it will look exactly like this. Do you see it? Okay. So, well done. You've found now, or have been at least shown the last couple of pentominoes that you um, didn't know about, okay? The task I want to explain to you that you're going to now do with this, and this is, um, it, your piece of paper will help in a second on this. It's called animal, vegetable, mineral. So you might like to jot this down in your book. Animal, vegetable, mineral. And let me explain what it means, okay? Each pentomino is either um, an animal or a vegetable or a mineral. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what it is that makes a pentomino one or the others. Okay? So animal, vegetable, mineral, that's a little subheading if you like. Now I don't want to spoil the answers for you because you're going to work together to work these out. Okay? What I'm going to do instead is, see these are pentominoes, right? Over here I've got a tetromino. This has not got five squares, it's got Four, okay, so tetra, like tetrahedron, has a, is a four-faced 3D figure, okay? Or Tetris. Tetris is, with play, is played with tetrominoes, okay? So, let me explain to you what an animal or a vegetable or minerals are. An animal is when you can take the shape and you can move a single square and your shape can move along away from where it is. Let me give you an example, right? So this is that... Tetromino. Okay, so this is where it started. Okay, now what I can do is I can take, uh, let's see here, I can take this guy here up in the corner and I can, whoopsie daisy, if I can catch it, I can move it down to this corner. Do you agree that this is the same tetromino that I started with? Like it's just in a different spot. Okay, so I've moved one, it's still the same tetromino. Now I'm going to move this one in the top left corner, I'm going to move it down to here. Do you agree? It's still the same, right? So every time you move a square, you can't change the kind of tetromino it is. But here's the important bit, right? Now that I move this last one over here, did you notice my, uh, my tetromino, it's like moving away. It can sort of move freely anywhere it likes. It can like escape from where it started. It's sort of like, wee, I'm getting out of here, right? It started up here and I can freely move. That's what makes an animal. Does that make sense? If you can move one square at a time, Still say this, stay the same shape, but then get away from where you are, you're an animal, okay? This is what a vegetable looks like, okay? So let me rearrange. <clears throat> okay, so this is a different, I'm gonna move it over a little bit, I've got no space here. Uh, do it here and here, all right, here we go. So this is a different tetromino, right? Actually, I'll do it just like the one on the screen to make it a bit easier to follow, okay? I think it's gonna be here. All right, have a look. Where can I move squares so long as I stay the same? Well, I could try and do this, right? I could try and move uh, this guy over here to here. I'm the same tetromino still, right? Uh, where else could I move? Uh, I could move here. I'm still the same, right? Um, I could move here. I'm doing lots of moves, but do you notice? I can't get anywhere. I can't escape from this one spot. Unlike the animal which kind of walked off, right? It's like, I'm out of here guys, see ya. This one can move about, but um, that middle square, I can never move it. Do you see that? It's kind of like rooted to the ground, as it were. So this is a vegetable. It can sort of shuffle on the spot, but it can't escape. Does that make sense? Okay, animal can move freely. Vegetable can move on the spot. What would you guess a mineral is? What do you reckon, Sandy? A mineral can't move at all. So this is a mineral, right? Bless you. You can't pick up any of the squares and move them anywhere without changing the tetromino. Does that make sense? Like suppose I pick up this one, the top left one, and I'm like, where else can I put this and remain a square? And the answer is, um, well, where can I put it? Back where it came from, right? There's no other place you can go to keep the same tetromino. So this guy is just stuck. He's a mineral, okay? So 
Here are our 12. I said I would bring them back, right? Each one of these 12, and I'm going to ask you now, previously you worked individually. I want you to work in pairs for this one. Each one of these is either an animal or a vegetable or a mineral. I want you to try and work out which one is which, okay? I will tell you, there's all three types here. So you may like to try and work together. What's the best way you can you know, work this out? You might like to um, take this and just cut out five squares. I have a bunch of scissors here, if you do not have them. Cut out five squares so that you can move them around like I did with my uh, post-it notes and uh, see if you can work out which of these is which, okay? <laughs> 